What up, Instagram and YouTube? It's your boy, Salty Red Corn, and I'm back with another ill-prepared knife review video. This one comes from Rusty Knife Lover on Instagram. Check him out. He's a really great dude. He really supports the community, and uh, he sent me a couple knives to check out, so I'm going to try and knock these out and get them back to him, all right? So this is the Civivi Synergy 3. All right, this is definitely an interesting knife that I've been wanting to check out, and... Uh, I'm ready to give you guys my opinion on it. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So first things first, notice that really nice Damascus pattern, all right? From what I understand, Civivi uses a 9CR and VG10 combo uh, for their Damascus, so it's stainless. And they recently, well, not recently, let's say in the past two years, have really changed the look of their Damascus to this very dark blackened look, which I really like. It really makes it pop. It really makes the pattern stand out. This is a trailing point blade, and we have full slabs of carbon fiber here. Um, the This is a liner lock, all right? So the liner lock side is milled out, and it does have a full length liner that goes all the way through. Um, but the other side is a full slab of carbon fiber, possibly carbon fiber G10. Let me look at the box. Yep, layered black carbon fiber G10. So it's got a really neat look to it. Typical Civivi pocket clip. It's a great deep carry clip. Uh, a lot of people complain about it. I think it's just fine. It probably doesn't suit, um, let's say, like the quality of their knives and where they're going with their knives. I think where they're going with their knives, I think everything should probably have a milled clip. Uh, but from where they came from and where they've been, this clip has been great. Um, layered backspacer as well. Uh, the knife runs on bearing, so it's very smooth, right? It's not one of those fall shutty knives, but you could probably tune it. But the flipping action, the deployment action is really, really snappy and really, really good. Um, I think a lot of people were really excited about the ergonomics on this knife. Take a look at the handle. It looks nice and comfortable. And uh, that seems to be just fine. I, my hand is a little bit larger than normal, so it, it doesn't quite fit my hand perfectly, but I could see if the hand was just a little bit smaller that this would be ergonomic perfection, all right? Um, <clears throat> beautiful swedge all along the top of the trailing point blade. Nice sharp edge from Civivi. I'm not sure if this has been sharpened. Rusty may have sharpened this. The edge does look a little bit shiny, like maybe somebody put a little mirrored edge on it. Uh, I'm not 100% sure about that lanyard hole here in the back and you know typical Civivi fashion they give this monstrosity of a lanyard I do like the bead but I don't I don't see this being very useful um maybe in a different different application but not for this knife all right but I do like the bead so liner lock the lockup is about I want to say 40 percent it's almost right in the middle um, the blade centering is perfect, right on point. It's got an internal stop pin here. So kind of typical Civivi construction. Um, so you already know it's going to be good. Civivi does really good work. They make nice knives. They do a great job and they come in at a really good price range. Not 100% sure of the price on this. I never am. Um, prices change a lot. You guys can go check that out if you are interested in this knife. But the closed profile of this knife is very unique and very nice. I like how the blade is almost completely hidden, um, but you can just see a little bit of that Damascus popping out. Um, I like the texturing on the handle. It has starts with a circle here, and it kind of just goes out from there. It's kind of like an expanding wave, um, in my opinion. So <clears throat> let's take another quick look at the g10 itself so we have g10 here and then carbon fiber you get some sheen from the carbon fiber and you get some matte from the g10 um, the thickness of the handle scales are really nice that really helps to fill the hand and i like the trailing point blade shape it really gives a nice place to put the thumb if you really need to bear down and cut some cardboard or something like that i've heard a lot of people kind of bash trailing points for EDC, but I think that they are good. In my opinion, I haven't had any problems. I do have a couple trailing point knives um, and I like them just fine. I think they're great. And it's just kind of an acquired taste for shape. Um, it really doesn't affect anything that you're gonna do. Um, if you're doing a lot of like kitchen cutting, you're not gonna have a big broad blade to cut with. 
but this will still do the job just fine. And that's kind of what an EDC knife does. It does a lot of different tasks good. Um, it may excel in some places, but it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to excel in every single task. Um, and that's just my opinion. Another thing I'm noticing here is we have some nice jimping on the lock bar itself. So that makes it nice and easy. This knife is easy to work. Like I said, it deploys very snappy. And this is the kind of action I actually prefer, okay? I'm not really big on drop shot actions. If the knife is tuned well, it's a really nice high-end knife and it drops shut, that's great. But um, it doesn't have to be like that. I prefer something more of what I've heard described as like a hydraulic action. Um, this doesn't particularly have that, but the action is smooth. Um, this action kind of reminds me of a phosphor bronze. Well, the closing action reminds me of a phosphor bronze knife, which I prefer phosphor bronze. You guys have heard me say I prefer phosphor over bearings. That's because I hard use my knives. I use them and abuse them. Um, I do maintain and take care of them, but I use them really, really hard. And I like to keep the dirt out of my bearings. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't, I don't prefer bearings for that particular reason. All right. Um, when it comes to knife maintenance, I'd rather just kind of take it apart, wipe off my bearings, give them a little oil, some olive oil or something like that, put them back together and get back to using them. Cause that's what I like to do with my knives. I get a lot of enjoyment out of using them. Um, but overall, I think this is an, actually a very good knife. When I first took it out, I wasn't super keen on it. And that's just my, was just my first impression that after spending a little bit of time with it, I really think it's a great knife. Um, the flipper tab will actually double up. You can choke up on this thing if you're careful. Once you get a little bit more skilled with using knives, you'll feel more comfortable um, using a choil like this. All right, technically it's a sharpening choil and it's done really nicely. You can definitely get your sharpening in and um, it's just a beautiful Damascus. The designer says, oh, young. Not 100% sure who that is, but I know that the Civivi... Um, synergy and the we synergy have been popular knives so um, you must be doing something right right all right so this is the Civivi synergy 3 in vg10 layered carbon or sorry, blah, blah, blah. vg10 9cr damascus g10 carbon fiber layered handle scales that was a mouthful all right so enough about that let's go over my carry um, we had the Blueberry Festival this year. If you guys don't know about it, look up Burgon, North Carolina Blueberry Festival. There was about 50,000 people there. Um, I spent a lot of time today there uh, talking with all types of people and um, then, you know, spend time with the family walking around eating blueberries, you know, corn dogs, stuff like that. I had a gyro. It was delicious. Um, but there was a lot of good food, a lot of good music and a lot of good people there. So that was fun. This is my carry today. This is the Islander Samurai. It's an homage to the Seiko Samurai. And in my opinion, it's done better than the Seiko. Um, Islander has really good stuff. Beautiful watch on a bracelet. Um, it's a little bit bigger than I normally wear, but with the magic, well, it's not Seiko magic, but Seiko originated the magic of having a larger watch wear smaller, all right? Um, so this watch kind of just stands out. It has a presence. It's beautiful. Um, it's robust. It's reliable. Um, I have this awesome TR2 ProTech from Steve Giraud. Um, I carry this knife all the time. I am matching it with the dial on my watch. Um, I love this knife. It's a fun, playful knife. It's a hard-hitting auto. It's USA made. Um, I'm going to cherish this knife forever because my buddy Steve gave it to me. And... I just absolutely love it. Um, and he gave it to me at a time when I was really kind of hurting. I had a lot of stuff going on. I was working, um, but there was just so many things coming in, so many expenses. Uh, I wasn't able to buy any knives. And I'm kind of still in that boat um, a little bit. But this really made my month when he sent this to me. Um, and every time I pick it up, I smile. Um, and I think about him and his generosity and kindness to me. Um, so let's spread some of that around, all right? Also, this is the Olight i5R EOS. This is a rechargeable battery. This is a nice, bright EDC flashlight. 
Um, it's a little bit bigger than the i3T. And let's see, Taurus GC3 with the Balder Mini. I have a thousand rounds for this. It's a great, great piece. It really is, especially for the price. It comes in around $300 with three magazines. Um, this light is about a, a $90 light. I got it on a sale with that flashlight that I just showed you. And I highly recommend this. If you're looking for a, like an entry level EDC uh, concealed carry firearm and you're not really sure what to get, um, listen, I have other higher end guns. I prefer to carry this gun um, for a lot of reasons. The Ergos are fantastic. It has lots of features. Um, this pad here is really nice. It fits the hand well. It carries 12 plus one, so no shortage of ammo um, on this one. And uh, overall, it's about the same size as a Glock 43, but it is just a little bit wider and it's marginally wider. A um, little bit more weight with this one, but double the round capacity and a sturdy, sturdy piece. I painted this with olive drab green, um, just with some spray paint. No need for Cerakote. It's held up really well. All right. So awesome carry piece, Taurus GC3. All right. Mammoth Headgear Mountain Trucker hat. As usual, Staghead Design Wedding Band. That's going to do it for me today, guys. If you like this kind of video, smash the like button and hit the subscribe button. Tell your boy Salty Redcorn what you want to see. Until next time, stay fresh, stay sharp. Peace out.